Welcome back guys. Today we are going to do a comparison between the C5 Z06 Corvette and the C7 Z06 Corvette. Now I know what you guys may be thinking. These cars are, you know, about 15 years apart in uh, product production technology. And so one is uh, one car is direct injected, the other car is a port injected engine. One is the LS based Gen 3 motor, the other has the LT based Gen 5 motor. Um, so there are some differences between the car, but I wanted to do a video just to kind of compare them. There are a lot of similarities between these two cars, more than what you would think. Uh, for those of you who are into the in the Corvette community, you understand that the C5 through the C7 is virtually the same car with the underpinnings. They are both frame integrated cars, meaning the frame is integrated around the body of the cars, and they all have transaxles. So, meaning, and there's a rear sub there's a rear subframe that attaches the suspension. The advantages is that Corvettes have over Camaros and Mustang. It's the transaxle, and it's also the torque tube with the prop shaft and so that just really stabilizes it and the Corvette is not a unibody car the Corvette is a frame integrated within within the body so you could almost you could almost say it's a full frame car but not in the sense of we think of full frame where you're where you're laying the body on top of a frame like a traditional muscle car the frame is integrated throughout the body so that's what gives the Corvette the rigidity and one of the design uh, advantages that the Corvette has over a lot of cars. Looking back, the C5 through the C7 Corvette benefited significantly because General Motors participated in racing with the C5R Corvette. The C5R Corvette had its debuted in 1999 at the Rolex 24 at Daytona. Its first win at 2000 Grand Prix of Texas. The last win was the 2004 Monterey sports car. Starting in the 2000 season, Corvette Racing switched from the 6 liter to the C5R block, which was casted by General Motors and machined by Schwartz Machine out of Warren, Michigan. The motor was assembled by K-Tech, who was contracted to the engine program for Corvette Racing. The C5R also featured proprietary C5R heads, which was designed and based off the LS7 casting. The transmission was a Hewlett 5-speed H pattern from 99 to 02, a Hewlett 6-speed H pattern for 02 and 03, finishing off with an X-Track 6-speed in 2004, the final year of the C5R program. Pratt & Miller got the contract to build the chassis and, and suspension of the C5R car. The suspension featured a front, rear, short, long arm, double, double wishbone fabricated chrome ollie steel with Penske adjustable coilovers. Now the streetcar ran forged aluminum control arms. For 99 to 02, GM contracted with Alcon for their 15 and 14 inch carbon ceramic brakes, six piston calipers, and for 03 and 04, AP Racing was utilized. The wheels were BBS Forged Magnesium Center Lock from 99 to 01 with an 18 by 12 and 18 by 14 wheel respectively. OZ Racing Wheels finished off for the last two or for the last three years of the C5R program. Out of 55 races, finished with 31 wins, 50 podiums, and 24 poles. Four team championships, four constructors championships, and three drivers championships. The C5R set the way for the C6 and C7R program and the C8R of today. My C7Z06 is a 1LZ car. Stage 3 rear arrow, stage 3 side arrow, and stage 2 front arrow. It's a 7 speed manual. It has a factory J56 steel brake option with, with 6 piston calipers. The C5 Z06 has a C6 Z06 factory J56 brake option. With an, it has Col Coleman rotors with an aluminum hat, which have been gun drilled for weight reduction. Both the cars, I would say, braking are similar, they perform flawless in braking. The handling are very similar. You know, the difference between the C5 and C7 is you have electric power steering in the C7 versus hydraulic rack and pinion C5. So they're very similar. The only difference is you're, you're gonna get a weighted feel with an electric assisted power steering because my C5 Z06 tipped the scales at 3,130 pounds with me in it. The C7 Z06 weighed in at 34.68 with me in it. These are both on scales. One was at Sacramento Raceway. The C5 was weighed at a truck stop. 
the C506 does enjoy the weight advantage and it is nearly 350 pounds lighter than the C7Z. Now I know I can do some weight reduction with the C7Z. I believe I can get approximately 150 to 200 pounds out of the C7Z by swapping out the factory 1LZ seats which weigh 74 pounds each for 6 pound tillet carbon fiber seats. Then I can also switch out the, root, the battery to a braille lithium ion battery remove the wiper blade motor and wipers, the heater core, and I think all those components combine uh, by swapping those out. I'm probably sitting sitting around 175 pounds removed, and that'd be probably as far as I'm willing to go to reduce the weight out of the C7. There may be a couple other things I can do, swapping titanium bolts here and there, but I think most of the hardware in the car is already aluminum, so I don't think there's really any other gains other than just stripping the car out and that's not something I'm willing to do to a street car. If it were a race car, I'd probably, you know, I'd be willing to strip more stuff out. But then, you know, you'd have to put a proper cage in there. So you're, you're, you're going to trade that off. But there is more weight to be had out of the C7 uh, beyond just the heater core, seats, battery, wiper motor. Uh, there's, there's a few other things I can do. But right now, I think I got 175 pounds that I know of that I can remove from the car. So that'll, that'll drop me down in the 3,200 pound range, which is significant for that for a car with that kind of motor. When you compare the C5Z06 to the C7Z06, you're looking at a Gen 3 motor versus a Gen 5 motor. The Gen 3 motor LS6 is one of just the most classic, just reliable engines of all time. Uh, it's a great motor. It doesn't make a ton of power by today's standards, still gets out of the way. I've done a couple of draggy, draggy uh, hits on it. Here you can see this car. C7Z06 with the LT4 power, factory is 650 horsepower, 650 pounds of torque right off the rip. This car has been upgraded with a set of Cook's 2 inch long tube headers, Catless X pipe. It's on an E55 flex tune and it has AFE, an AFE cold air intake with an NGK spark plug gapped at, I believe it's right around 28,000. So on the dyno, this thing put down 676 and 660 to the wheel. Uh, through the manual transmission so uh, the C7Z06 with the LT4 it, you know is, is light years beyond the uh, C5 but I do have some plans for both cars I do have a plan to up the power in the C5 and also in the C7 so you'll have to stay tuned for that but this will conclude the C5Z06 and C7Z06 Corvette comparison any other videos surrounding this topic you'd like me to do make sure to drop a comment if I made an error or I got something wrong or I forgot something, go ahead and chime in, drop a comment. Be sure to hit that thumbs up if you like the video, share with your buddies, and subscribe. Thank you.